You might recall the story from earlier this year of Carly Russell. Now, who's Carly Russell? I know the name doesn't quite ring a bell. It's not as unique as you might expect something of this high profile to be. But it was the chick who alleged that she found a baby. Oh, there was just a baby running down the middle of the highway in Alabama. And then she went missing when somebody drove up next to her, threw her in the back of the car, and then ended up kidnapping her for however long it was, and then turned up on Monday or something like that, ready to go to work and then everything was all hunky dory until it fit until everybody figured out that no she actually went on a camping trip for the weekend tried to get some clout off the back of it and there was no baby in there at all it's like it was just such a wild situation it just came and went and well she's actually being held accountable this is one of those rare w's for the legal system where a bitch lies in order to try to get some clout i don't know if there was any guy that ended up getting implicated in this if there was anybody who was ultimately ruined but for the simple fact that there is some accountability on display right here, there's a big enough W for me to cover right now. So let's take a look. Carly Russell was found guilty Wednesday of faking her own kidnapping over the summer in a case that baffled the nation. It was so weird. A 26-year-old, oh my God, she was a nurse. Well, she's going to be a nurse. Oh my God. Why would you take anything that she has to say seriously? Oh no. Yeah. And she also had a problem. She was a big problem at work. She was consistently lying, not showing up. You know, she's terrible, absolutely terrible. But yeah, she filed a false police report and falsely reporting seeing a baby crawling alongside an Alabama highway just minutes before she seemingly her vanished. Russell nervously wrung her hands her behind her back. Oh no, behind her back is she entered a, a not guilty plea for the crimes despite publicly admitting to the hoax weeks after rescuers launched search parties for both her and the imaginary child what a tard uh, the hoover judge however recommended a one-year prison sentence uh yeah i don't know i don't know if that's light or not uh, i really have to figure this stuff out and a restitution payment of seventeen thousand eight hundred seventy four dollars as well as two fines of eight hundred thirty one dollars so yeah she wow that's uh, actually i'm not mad i am not mad at that repercussion because i'm really glad that you know Hey man, there's finally some consequences for these lion ass tricks. Uh, Russell and her team are planning to appeal the verdict. Why in circuit court and her attorney, Emery Anthony, telling uh, reporters uh, jail time is inappropriate punishment for the class A misdemeanor. Absolutely. You filed a false, er, false police report. Yeah, but you misappropriated state funds in order to launch a kidnapping attempt. Okay. You prove you. It was verifiably untrue, like Juicy Small A, even before his stupid ass appeal, which I haven't heard a goddamn thing about, you know. He got sentenced to time in jail, even though that entire story was cap. And even when the police officers came over, they're like, yeah, we don't really know. None of this stuff is really lining up. But this was like, na yeah, nationwide headlines over a weekend of a chick. Uh, she got kidnapped and there's a baby. Like, what, what the hell are we doing? No, I think the year is appropriate more than appropriate she's apologized oh see a woman apologized okay that's a rare enough occurrence so why should we hold her accountable like come on man it's her it's a fur it's her first offense and it's not like she'd ever do it again she real sorry guys the attorney noted that russell has been suffering or suffering emotionally since she lied why should we oh my god this is a grinning ass motherfucker like okay she uh, she's she's felt really bad about lying about things guys it's not that she felt bad about the fabricated event she's just mad that she got caught and now oh my god everybody's you know real sad about this and she fucking smiled in her booking photo and they allowed her to keep the wig on like what the fuck okay i don't want her to have any type of back or breakdown or anything of that nature so we're handling her with kid gloves and we're trying to make sure her mental state is just fine he said yo i don't mind the lawyer saying this type of stuff it's in the best interest of his client but if she believes this shit for a second yo man you deserve that one year prison sentence even though you know with good behavior it'd be just the state case she'd end up doing what 80 percent of the time okay she might spend she might spend six months in jail and then the rest of it just a suspended sentence uh russell's motive for lying about her own kidnapping and where she was during the 49 hours of the search remains a mystery the details will eventually be dis er, exposed in due time anthony said yeah but those close to her now, those close to her, including her ex, are still puzzled over the abduction hoax. We had a little argument, nothing you kidnap yourself over. So even her boyfriend at the time was like, the fuck is this bitch crazy? 
Uh, Carly Russell's ex-boyfriend still has no idea why she faked her own abduction, pointing out that while the couple had a little argument leading up to the disappearance, it was nothing to kidnap yourself over. Uh, while appearing on last week, uh, last week on the uh, podcast 205 Boys, uh, Thomar Latrell, oh fuck, this is way too hood for me, uh, spoke about the perplexing case that captivated the nation when it dominated headlines beginning in mid-July. Wow, that was that long ago. Uh, Simmons said uh, he believes nothing happened between the pair that would lead to Russell to carry out the bizarre hoax. Yeah, that's something that you gotta think on for a second because, okay, kidnapping, that's fine. But where do you come up with the crawling baby on the side of the road used as a lure by kidnappers? That's some expert level theory crafting right there. Good. You know what? Hey, it, well, she has all of that time to think about what she did while being incarcerated for up to a year. She should probably work on her novel because yeah, she comes up with some interesting ideas, okay? That, you know what, with proper editing might end up be good for her. That'd be a good way for her to, you know, go back and pay that you know, $18,000 in restitution that she owes. Uh, the bizarre hoax, yes, uh, when she mysteriously vanished shortly after 911 call. Oh, yes, to report that she found a toddler on the side of the busy Alabama highway. So, yeah, she filed a false re or police report um, she called in a hoax to 911. Yeah, no, I'm, I, again, you know, I want a punishment, okay, for any of these false accusations, okay? Normally, it's just a guy who gets ruined in this situation, but even though the only people that were defrauded were, or was the state, which they kind of deserve to be defrauded, myself and other people, okay, we are always calling for deterring factors to be put in place, and this is 100% one of those occasions, so yeah, but... 100% agree with this. Uh, the police arrived on the scene. She was missing through her, oh, though her red Mercedes Benz uh, uh, with her cell phone and wig were left behind. Yeah, right, right. I just thought, because I was looking at that hairline, and it's like, why, why is she still wearing a wig in that um, booking photo? But, I mean stereotypes are true for a reason uh the 26 year old reappeared at her parents house two days later right claiming she was taking and held captive uh though the tale later fell apart well who's holding you captive uh, the, the guys oh, okay cool simmons 25 said he didn't notice a change in her behavior before she willingly went missing I mean, we had a little argument, but it wasn't nothing to kidnap yourself over. He said with a chuckle on the podcast, two weeks uh, before the fake kidnapping, he, the couple took a trip to NYC uh, where they had a good time. Uh, we were having fun, he said on the podcast that posted on YouTube. Uh, we're going to, uh, oh, we were going and taking tours, Statue of Liberty, Brooklyn Bridge, Harlem, you know, all those other places. But the, I think that I think I made that joke before. I don't need to be hack, but I'm just saying that always great to have a family get together i'm confused like what happens uh he said at one point in the podcast he hosts with a friend and yo from that picture okay from just him right there look, looks like dude's been training good for him okay nursing student yeah, i was charged with one count of false reporting to law enforcement and one count of falsely reporting an incident yeah she later admitted there was no kidnapping no baby on the side of the road so yeah that's why she because i'd imagine the charges for that are probably or at least the sentencing normal sentencing is probably the upper ends of that could be probably for a few years but one year in jail it probably seems fairly light but don't worry guys don't worry guys we got the likes of the unemployed jameel hill because this bitch got turfed by espn earlier this year as well so from one unemployed black woman to another here we go she spots the racism and overzealous reaction to carly russell kidnapping hopes do some critical thinking likewise jameel hill i used to like her when she was on around the horn on espn back when you know that actually used to be something worth watching but now now she's just spastic Overzealous legal backlash over the Carly Russell kidnapping hoax came only because a black woman was at the center. Oh, was at the center of it. The Atlantic. How the fuck do you get bounced from ESPN and then you end up picking up a job at the fucking Atlantic? Like this isn't like you know the local Herald, the Atlantic. Interesting. Like the Atlantic. Everybody who knows the Atlantic knows that it's a piece of shit, but it's a paper of some repute, and she's working for it. Weird. It's found that Russell, yeah, faked everything about it uh, through her ex account. Hill, oh, Hill called the efforts of overzealous, oh, these efforts overzealous that find the truth? Okay. Uh, taken because of Russell's race. Oh, claiming the same thing would not have happened if she was white. No. 
I would say nobody nobody would be coming to her support right now because the only reason you're doing it is because she's black. Uh, she's already been charged and will likely have to pay restitution. Zero problem with that. Uh, that what I'm saying is uh, this lawmaker is being overzealous because a black woman was at the center of this hoax. Yes, yeah, a hoax. It's a provable hoax. She admitted it was a hoax. She fucking lied, you idiot. I promise you that she, uh, has she been a white woman? Uh, nobody will be introducing a law to strengthen the laws about lying to cops. Mm-hmm. After facing pushback, Hill continued to argue that a white woman would not inspire new laws like Russell. Yeah, but there was also... Uh, there was also a chick in the UK. I understand different different jurisdiction, not exactly an apples to apples comparison. But the one chick who bought a hammer tried to cave in her own face in order to bolster her claims that she ended up getting um, gang graped. If you can follow me along on that one, she ended up getting sentenced to eight years in jail. And her and the people that she tried to implicate were all refugees. Okay, she was white and she got eight years for ruining a bunch of guys lives. So, yeah, if you want to draw comparisons, okay, the very few of them that are out there, she actually got off fairly light. Okay, I'll play along. Where's the Susan Smith law in California? Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay, or the uh, Lacey Peterson law up in Massachusetts. Uh, there are laws that strengthen lying to police. Oh, uh, when there are white women continuously, uh, continually lie uh, when they call the police on black people just for uh, for just existing in spaces they don't want us in. Oh my God, is that what happened to you at ESPN? Oh no, that would imply anybody was watching what you were doing. A white woman uh, just lied in California about being kidnapped by two Latino people, and it turns out she spent three weeks with an old boyfriend. Where's the new law, she wrote. Well, did she get charged with anything? Okay, it is California. Susan Smith, yeah, killed her two sons in 1994. Which now, okay, would just be called a post-birth abortion in California. Uh, she is currently serving two life sentences with the possibility of parole in 2024. You killed your two sons and you blamed it on somebody else and you have the possibility for parole that's female privilege right there california example likely refers to the too recent a jury conviction of kathleen Sorensen, who made a false report blaming a latino couple who tried to kidnap her child or er, children in 2020 i think i did a video on that one that one might be in the tank or it might have been released as well but yeah it was outside a craft shop i think it was and yeah she tried to implicate the couple when the CCTV footage was like, no, nothing ended up happening. That I don't know what ended up happening with that. Yeah, in 2023, a judge gave Sorensen a 90-day prison sentence. Oh my God, when it was pointed out that one of the Alabama legislatures in favor of increasing penalties for falsifying abductions is a black woman, Hill reiterated her argument that minorities often carry the water for white supremacy. Yo, this bitch's fucking circular logic is ridiculous. She is a race grifter of the highest accord, and I can't wait. I can't wait until one of her many hoaxes gets exposed, and well, she'll end up having to pay the piper. Maybe, maybe the future. Maybe, maybe there's going to be some solutions in the future, but I won't hold my breath because that would be a hate crime. By the time I exhale, I'd be putting out too much uh, white carbon dioxide and depriving uh, some uh, people of color some good oxygen that's out there. I'd be infringing on their positions, as according to Jamel Hill. Ugh, she's so insufferable. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.